je regarde euh, la salle, je vois que la réaction est positive, je n'entends pas d'objection. L'accord de Paris pour le climat est accepté. At the Paris Climate Conference in December 2015, 195 countries agreed to the world's first universal action plan to tackle climate change by limiting global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius. This historic achievement was just the beginning. Now, every country must turn their promises into action. Human activities such as burning fossil fuels, livestock farming and deforestation cause global temperatures to surge. Rising sea levels will put coasts and low-lying islands at risk. Severe droughts and superstorms will become more frequent and one in six of Earth's species will be threatened. This is why, in Paris, countries committed to tackle climate change by reducing greenhouse gas emissions and taking measures to adapt to the unavoidable impacts of climate change. This will require a worldwide economic transformation, unlocking the potential of renewables, making agriculture more sustainable, decarbonizing transport and redesigning the electricity market. This transition will bring new opportunities to industries, investors and innovative companies. And the more a country does, the more its citizens will benefit through job creation, smarter products, cleaner air and more secure energy supplies. Making this happen will be a challenge. We all have a role to play. More than 10,000 companies, investors, regions, cities and civil society organizations are already taking action across the globe. But climate change related events are already happening more frequently. All countries are affected and face the task of building up their resilience to environmental changes. One thing is certain, international cooperation is key to reach a global climate solution. Developed countries have committed to helping others with technology, strengthening institutions and also finance. Other countries, including emerging economies, are also increasingly providing support to the most vulnerable nations. The European Union is already putting its Paris commitment into action and will reduce its emissions by at least 40% by 2030. Since 1990, the EU has already reduced its emissions by almost a quarter, while at the same time growing its economy by almost 50%. The Paris Agreement gives us a global action plan to fight climate change. By working together, we can build a safer and more sustainable world for us all and for future generations. <laughs>